Hello and welcome uh, or welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video we'll be continuing with our um, Resident Evil board game painting videos. Um, this one will be the second part of the three part series essentially of the um, terrain. So um, this one will be focusing on the um, banisters and the doors. So um, I'm going to be keeping this relatively simple, uh, but before we get to that, um, if you would like to um, support my channel, um, I have a PayPal in the description. Any Anything on there would be very much welcome, and it would help improve the quality of my videos. But anyway, getting back to the, the painting, um, we're going to do... We're going to keep all these the same, these, these banisters. I'm just going to paint them with uh, browns and highlight them with browns and then these doors in the middle are going to be um again browns as well and on the right they're going to be sort of silver um like gum metal-esque sort of colors um again i'm not usually i'm not i'm not using too much detail on these i'm not too bothered about it being super detailed just because you know they're not really the um focus point of the game whereas the main characters are so without further ado let's get into it so i'll be starting off with um what i started off with is i undercoated all of these in um army painter uh fur brown i believe it's called let me just check yep fur brown by army painter and before i did that i uh gave them all a wash with um warm soapy water and a scrub with a toothbrush just to get any release agent off so we'll be going in first with warm fang brown so this is going to be all over the banisters and the middle three doors um, so let's get it on our wet palette we don't we don't want it too runny so let's get started so for these i know i've already undercoated in brown but i want to get a nice base brown for this so if I need to do anything to touch up I can touch up with the with a, the same base colour so just all over the mini you should only one need one coat but if you want to do two that's fine too so we'll, I'll get to finishing them in a sec so with the doors if you've been spraying them it might not have got like the, the edges here so just want to make sure those will be all painted in like so paint it let it dry and then yeah leave it open like that don't move it whilst it's uh whilst it's wet because it could stick if it's put back in so i'll finish these and we'll be back uh next we're going to go into doing these three doors these are the metal ones so we're going to go in with lead belcher and this might need two coats. Um, I decided to do two coats on the um, the brown doors as well, just to get it one solid colour. But I'm doing this, so I'm, I'm doing one archway of each colour. Um, because having not played the game, I'm not sure what they're used for, but I'm assuming it's between areas that don't have doors. Or if doors are destroyed. I don't know. I've not played it. I've only played the Resident Evil 2 one. Which which was very, very fun. Well, it took me and a few friends a long time to play it. But it was uh, very enjoyable. So I'm hoping to play Resident Evil, uh, the, this board game one, soon. If people would be interested to just maybe see some sort of video playthrough, let us know. But um, yeah. So yeah, as you can see, this is this is going to probably need two coats. You can still see the brown for it. But that's okay. We'll get the two coats done on these, and we will be back. Okay, so with those dry, um, I'm going to do. I know it's still going to keep it simple, but I'm still going to put a little bit of detail on um, on these. So what I'm going to do is. 
uh, on the silver doors, I'm going to go in with buffs of gold, get a bit of like, bronzing, which is like the, the rivets and the handle. Handles, this may need two coats. Then the surround of this porthole. I'm gonna do bronze as well. And then these little rivets up here. You can see that. And I'm also gonna do this bit around here just to get a bit of detail on the door. Um, so that's what I'm doing on that one and on this one it's just going to be all the many rivets all these little dots that are dotted around like that and then on the handle as well like that so I'll get that finished and we'll be back okay so next step for these doors we're going to do the handles in lead belcher so fine brush for this Is a nice quick step. It's just the handles. Careful not to get it going on the brown. That's yes, I get it done on all of them and we'll be back. Okay, so next up, um, after that silver's been done, the we're going to go in with uh, Shatabi Boon and we're trying to get this highlight like this lattice work in there. So you want to get a fine brush for this. Just get a pot of paint and I'll just get a new one myself because mine was my old one was getting a bit a bit worse for wear. If you want to try, you can just to paint in lattice work like that this might need a couple of coats just to bring it out a bit we'll get that done on all of them and we'll be back okay so now that's all been tidied up on all the doors as you can see I uh, just filled in all this lattice work I think it'll make it easier um, again the doors don't need to be brilliant um they just need to be serviceable and not take away from the enjoyment so um what i'm going to do is for the for the um the metal doors the silver doors i'm going to wash with uh, a non oil and it's going to be over the entire um entire base of the entire mini and with the um with the brown doors i'm going to go in with um reichland flesh aid and again, that's going to be over all the model. We're trying to avoid it pooling anywhere too much. So keep your brush handy and, you know, keep working it until it's not fully into the recesses. But anyway, give your pot, pot a shake. And we'll just begin. We want it all over like that. Again, like I said, you don't want it too thick, because otherwise it will uh, obscure some of the nicer textures. But just enough to get into those recesses to give it a bit of depth. And then on the flat bits, the flat bits, bits are where you might get the um, tied marks. So just keep pulling, pulling it uh, away with the with your brush, because we just want it to almost tint the colour like that so we'll do that for all the doors and we'll be back and uh, next is Reichland Flesh Shade on the on the wooden doors so let's get started with that again as I said on the previous step for the metal doors this is all over um, but you don't want it pulling too much like here can you see there so if I left that that would pull too much there and clog up the detail and it looks look so nice when it's dried so just get your brush and 
soak it, uh, pull it away from there. Uh, if you dry your brush, um, wash it and dry it, you can, uh, it will soak up any excess bits, any excess uh, amounts of paint that are somewhere. So, again, you will just want this all over the model. And that will just give it a nice bit of depth. And I'll get that finished and we'll be back. Okay, so um, that wash is now dry. So next what I'm going to go in, I'm going to go in with more Fang Brown. I'm going to get a dry brush. Um, makeup brushes work great for this. This is like a small makeup brush. Um, I could use a bigger brush here, but I want a little bit more control on this one here. because I don't really want to get the um, uh, dry brush, the paint over the, 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 the lattice work there. So just... Get a bit on your brush and then get most of it off to that sort of level. And then we just run it over like that. Just pick up the sharpest edges. Let's go for the other side. With the other doors, you can uh, use a bigger brush. A bit more on your brush. Like so, just picking up the edges like that. And uh, we'll repeat that on the other door and these banisters. So the banisters just back and forth like that. And then, yeah, we'll get that finished and we'll be back. So that's that dry brush. Next step, I'm going to go in the same brush. I've not even cleaned it yet. I'm just going to go in with scrub brown. And give the pot a shake. Same thing again, but even a even lighter dry brush this time. And this is just to pick up even the sharpest edges, even higher sharpest edges. So with these, just a gentle brush along there, and maybe a bit at the top. And a single brush stroke down like that. Like that. And then with the doors, we just want to pick up those highest edges, like so, and on this side. If you drag it along like that, you won't, you might not even hit the latticey bit inside, because you're just picking up the sharpest edges. Like that. Okay, so next we're going to come in with a fine brush, like this, and we're going to get our Oose Sharpie bone, and we're going to just going to pick out those those lines on the door, on the lattice C bit. Like so, just the highest points. Like so, just picking out those, those highest points. I'll get that done and we're back. Okay, so that's completed. Um, final thing for the wooden doors. Um, I'm going to go in with lead belcher. Uh, when I was dry brushing, um, the doors, the handles. Um, got coated as well so I'm just going to go in with silver and pick out the door handles again and then bar a few more things I'll do right at the end I will call these done yeah so these doors 
I finished. 90%. You can leave them there, but I'm going to add something. I'll add blood and stuff at the end once I've completed the other doors as well. So, with that, we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so now we come over to, now the, the wooden doors are done, we'll come over to the uh, metal doors, and we're going to do a similar process to what we did with the, those ones. Um, uh, this time we're going to highlight up with lead belcher. Um, I'm actually using a much smaller um, dry brush here, because on this one, I want to try and avoid getting anything on this bronze colour. So again, get it on our brush. We're getting most of it off. And just give it... Very faint dry brush. Right. So I'll get them done and we'll be back. Okay, so the highlight is done with that with the lead voucher. Um, next, I'm going to go in and just tidy up the sort of bronzy areas with buffs are gold. Um, so yeah, just just tidying up where I might have accidentally hit um, some of the sil uh, some of the bronzy bits like these these little uh, studs. I'm gonna bring them, make them bronze again, and then just the highest points like that. Pick it out again. We'll get that done and we'll be back. Okay, so that's the Balfour Gold done on those. Uh, I'm now going to go in with uh, Sycorax Bronze, and this is just to give it um, like a very high highlight. I don't want too much on it. Just the rounded edges at the top, the handle, and the bottom there. A bit. Like that yeah happy with that just a quick step there what we do next is um we're gonna try and dirty up a bit make it when i say dirty up i mean like um water marks and stuff like that so from like um some of the rivets and the handle maybe so what we're going to use is agrax earth shade and uh just a thin brush and here we're just gonna, for example, put a bit around, say this one, and then just drag it down like it's running water. And you don't have to do all of them, but it just adds the effect of moisture in the damp, dark places. And then there. Then maybe some's collected in one of these deep recesses here and spilled over. And just down here. You can be as liberal with this as you want. It just adds a little bit extra to the door. Like so. I'll do that a little bit more and we'll be back. There you have it, the doors and banisters. So you could quite easily leave it at this point. Um, I'll just show you how they came out with all the, the streaks and stuff and grime. There we go. Yeah, like I said, you can leave it here now, but I like to add a little bit more to it. So I'm going to get blood for the blood god, and we're going to get a little sponge. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do some blood splatters uh, here and there, dotted on it here and there. Um, so maybe like the banisters, like someone's blooded hands have touched it. Like that. Down the side, maybe. A bit more here. Like that. Not going to go mad. The frame. The frame could be like blood splatter here. 
It might not look like you can see much, but uh, in the light, but the shine does pick it up. There you go. Like that. And on the doors, always a good one is to do the handles, door handles. Like a bloody hand has touched it. Or a bit of a blood splatter. Something's been shot or a head's exploded near it. Like that. Or even if you wanted to, you could uh, go in with a fine brush. And maybe on a banister, say, you could always uh, make it look like a bloody handprint's grabbed it. Something like that. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to go mad. But yeah, I'll, um, I'm going to be doing that on the rest of them. Some with more, some with less. And yeah, that's them completed. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please uh, leave me a like and subscribe. And as I say, uh, I've got a, um, a PayPal Um link to my description so if you'd like to support the channel anything on there would be very much appreciated get a bit more blood so yeah hopefully we're one video away from you being able to start your games with all the with all the scenery so then the next one it probably be the wall well it will be the walls and the the stairs and the lift and stuff like that but yeah thanks again for watching and see you in the next video